Hey what's up everyone this is Jalai welcome back to another video So yesterday one of my friends gave me his 15 years old laptop and told me that ever since he dropped it it won't switch on He also assured me that there is nothing wrong with the charger so I don't need to worry about it Keeping that in mind he asked me to check and see if I can fix it so let's give it a try Well it looks like he didn't keep the laptop at a good place eventually making the rubber around the display fall apart Unfortunately, I don't think we can do anything to fix it. And I didn't realize that the laptop body was damaged when he dropped it, and that too at the place where one of the hinges is situated. Let's hope he hasn't damaged the hinge as I don't have the tools or the materials to make the fix at the moment. Overall, apart from the damaged body and the rubber degradation, the laptop seems to be in the good condition. Ever since I dropped the laptop, it won't switch on. those were his exact words so the first thing that comes into my mind would be the loose connections and there is no easy way to fix it other than opening the laptop and checking each and every connection so let's get started fortunately unlike recent laptops the battery is removable one less thing to worry about let's start with the quick upgrade section under which you will usually find all those things which are upgradable like memory and storage devices This looks like a 20 GB Seagate hard disk and these are the memory modules. Looks like this one is a 1 GB module and the other one is a 2 GB module making 3 GB of memory in total. Next, let's remove the optical drive which shouldn't have any kind of wires connected to it. Just unscrew and you should be able to pull it out just like that. Now, unscrew every single screw that you can see on the back. which might be holding the keyboard or the top of the body once done turn it over and remove the keyboard if all the connected screws are removed disconnecting the keyboard from the laptop should be fairly easy a word of advice Don't use any sharp items as you might damage the connectors, circuits or the motherboard underneath the keyboard. I would recommend using your fingernails instead. Once the keyboard pops out, disconnect the cable which is connected to the top of the body and with that, we have successfully removed the keyboard from the laptop. Next, disconnect the connectors for the trackpad, the power button and any others like fingerprint scanner and so on. Once done, all that's remaining now is to remove this palm rest. To pull it out, use holes like this and try to pull it equally from all the sides such that you don't risk damaging anything in the process. And just like that, you should be easily able to pull it out. The first thing I noticed after removing the palm rest is that it definitely requires some cleaning. However, considering the fact that it is a 15 years old laptop, it is surprisingly clean. I mean, I have seen laptops which are disgusting. You will find all sorts of things, snacks, dead cockroaches and what not. Anyway, looking at the damaged body part and the way this hinge is moving, I'm sure that the hinge is damaged, which is a really bad news. To show you why I came to that conclusion, take a look at the other hinge. When I move the laptop lid, the hinge doesn't move at all. It is firmly attached to the body and works perfectly fine. On the other hand, this hinge is moving and looks like it is detached from the body. Well, technically, not the hinge, but the body which holds the hinge tight is damaged, and in that case, we will have no other option but to replace the body itself. Since this is an old laptop, it will be both hard and expensive to find a new body, so I will have a temporary fix for now. Since the body is made of plastic, The obvious fix would be to glue the broken pieces and cracks together and that should work just fine. The better solution would be welding the plastic. However, unfortunately, I don't have the necessary tools and materials for that at the moment, but I will definitely show you how it's done in the future video. For now, I will just apply the glue and leave it for a few minutes to let it dry. Looks like the glue worked, but again I wouldn't count on it as it is just a temporary solution. 
After cleaning and making sure other connections are fine, let's assemble it back and see if it works. This is basically doing the same thing we did earlier but in reverse. Moment of truth, the laptop is getting charged which is a good sign. Now let's press the power button and see if it powers on and yes it does. Keyboard is also working fine and looks like we have fixed the issue. That's been it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more PC related content. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.